Before people started buying SUVs and crossovers, they used to buy cars. And the hardest cars was the hatchback. And the hardest hatchback was the Volkswagen GTI. It has been over 40 years since Volkswagen has introduced the GTI. And this is the seventh edition with a facelift and a smatter of changes for the year 2018. More power has come into the drive and there are of course some design changes as well. But will this be as good as the old one? Let's find out. There are some nice styling details. The design carries the red lines straight into the hexagonal grille and right into the headlights, which are now full LED. The Volkswagen badge, because of the so many sensors that they mount, is now flushed 2D instead of the more prominent race profile one. The black intakes mold into the sides and now we have the red brake calipers in the 18-inch wheels. We have a nice spoiler at the rear which actually aids in handling and makes it look sporty. The styling is discreet and subtle with the GTI logo and twin exhaust at the back, giving it a nice emphasis on the road while it doesn't push it too much. The car is a tornado red, but you can get it in black, ruby and white, but any other color will cost you extra. What's different is that there are red stitching and red accents throughout the interior. Um, you have this leather steering wheel with red stitching and then you have the GTI logo in case you forget what you were driving. Um, you also have some chrome inserts throughout uh, over the door handles, the steering and the rest of the dash. Then you have the soft rubber feel plastic all across the dashboard as well. There are standard Volkswagen controls over this leather amazing steering wheel with the flat bottom base and you can um, scroll through myriads of different display options for the fully digital driver's display and also you can control your adaptive cruise control. Um, the seats, the Vienna leather seats, they are perforated and fully bolstered to give you ample amount of grip if you are planning to test out that engine to the max. Um, at the back side you have ample amount of space and four passengers will have a decent time traveling um, and decent amount of comfort as well. In terms of practicality, you have enough space on the door bins. The center console is fully equipped to hold your coffee mugs and to plug in your gadgets. Also the glove compartment, the same thing. And then you have the uh, sunroof over here. The boot is not the biggest in its, uh, in its range, but it provides you 350, uh, more than 350 liters of space, which is uh, more than enough for a car of this size. The high gloss multi-touch infotainment system is very impressive and has predictive touch but is also a fingerprint magnet. It's intuitive, straightforward and easy to use and does a very good job. We have an upgraded stereo in this car which also does a fine job. The luxury of features available like the dual zone automatic climate control and 12-way adjustable leather power seats and however the heated front seats are also available in all models. So in this Golf GTI, there is 2.0 liter engine and an increased horsepower of 230 with 350 newton meters of torque. Now there is no point of buying a GTI if you're not going to have some fun with it. Um, the engine provides you very nice power and it is delivered very well through and you're always in control of your car. The brakes are at your command and they perform and respond efficiently to your orders. So the six-speed gearbox uh, makes the drive very pleasant and this Golf goes from 0 to 100 in almost a little more than six seconds. Um, now this car makes amazing grunts and the engine revs are very juicy and you feel excited and you drool for speed. It's a, it's a little dragon, it's a fast little dragon really. 
Um, now this car is not only for fun, it's also for decent practicality and driving through traffic is also very easy. You just have to um, scroll through different driving modes, you put it in comfort and the first thing you will notice is that the sound is reduced and it is able to maneuver in all kinds of surfaces, mostly rough surfaces as well. Um, this car also has amazing safety features as well. Uh, it gives you front assist, uh, pedestrian detection, uh, it gives you front and back uh, park assist, it has a rear uh, camera, uh, it also has other kinds of sensors uh, that make your drive very smooth and very agile. It also provides you um, adaptive, adaptive cruise control which is very handy when you're driving fast or you're driving at a certain speed and you know you don't want to shuffle your foot across the accelerator and the brake and it does the job for you so it's really amazing and a very pleasant experience driving this car as far as the gtis are concerned this is more than a worthy addition in the lineup it looks sharp, it looks fresh, it is dynamic without being overblown. The drive is superb and the balance between the chassis and the components is brilliantly balanced and you're always in control of your drive. For an everyday driver with lots of fun to offer, this GTI is definitely the king of hot hatches. Thanks for watching, subscribe and leave your comments below.